guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Martha, in case you did not know that, now you do. On my channel, I like to post a lot of different types of videos from makeup to DIYs to vlogs from whatever. Um, but today, I really felt like talking to you guys, just talking to you guys about something that has been kind of tugging at me. It's this image that I saw on Facebook and when I saw it, I didn't know how to feel about it. And I thought about it a lot to the point where I was like, you know, this is something that we should talk about or this is something that I would want to talk about on my channel because it it really spoke to me. So in the image it says, let your children develop their own blank opinions. <laughs> um, and it's like a doctor, or it's a midwife and a doctor, and they're basically holding the newborn baby and about to brand it, um, about to brand him. And they have like different like branding, I don't know what they're called, branding sticks? I'm sure they have like an official name. And it's like um, the fish, it's the cross, it's David Star, and like some other symbols of religions. Um, and when I saw this at first, I was really upset and uncomfortable. And I started to think more and more about it. I was one of those who was kind of born into Christianity. Um, my parents met at the church that they were attending, they got married, they had their first daughter, then they had me, and then they had my sister, and we were raised in church. I've been in church my whole entire life. I've probably only missed church service a handful of times where I've been out of town or I've been deadly ill, and literally I could count those on my hands. I wanted to talk about it a little bit because through the years I have been able to see how other kids in my situation have reacted to this type of thing, you know, where you're basically born and you're already a Christian. Um, but one thing I just want to say is that I was never pressured, I was never forced to become a Christian, to believe in what I choose to believe in today. My parents were never like that. Did they make us go to church? Yes. But they were never like, this is the way you have to live. They never said you could only be Christian. They never ever kind of had that type of conversation with me. But at the same time, I would consider myself a rare situation because for me, I knew who Jesus was at a young age. I believed in God at a young age, and I felt the Holy Spirit at like eight, nine, seven years old. And at that age, I can definitely say that I had a relationship with God, which was very rare. I chose to believe in God, and I say those words because I think it's a choice. I don't believe that it's something that you're born into. Ultimately, there's going to be a day in your life where you have to make that decision. Am I going to believe in God? Am I going to serve God? Or am I going to choose to live in the world or to be a part of the world? And for me, I definitely made that choice at a very young age. But I made that decision not based on what my parents would tell me, not based on what my Sunday school teachers would tell me, not based on what my pastor at the time would tell me, it was solely based on the relationship that I had with Jesus. And I'm talking about me being 10, nine years old, where I had already experienced who he was. I had already experienced the Holy Spirit. Um, God had proven himself to my life many, many times. And that is the reason why today, as a 20 year old, <laughs> feels weird to say that, but today at this age, I am serving God and I do believe in God. I basically just wanted to kind of talk about this because it makes me really sad to see a lot of people that I have grown up with, a lot of stories that I have heard where kids literally hate God because their parents force them 
to go to church or because their parents forced Christianity down their throats so much. That image was like so thought provoking, I guess, to me that I had to have like a conversation with God. Like, I was really surprised because, you know, the a lot of people who aren't believers really do see us like that, that we force our kids to believe in what we believe in. And I just really wanted to share that it's not like that. It doesn't, it shouldn't be like that really, because that's not what God would want us to have. He wants us out of our hearts to believe in Him, you know, not because someone else is telling us to, but because we have made that choice in our hearts. I guess the reason I wanted to make this video, I just wanted to like defend people like me who were raised in Christianity, who were basically born in a church. <laughs> and I just wanted to encourage you, maybe you were also born into Christianity and you have some resentment because you didn't get to make that choice. Um, or maybe you're raising a child right now and you don't know, you know, your limits as a parent. You don't know how much you can um, influence your child because as a parent you do have a lot of influence over your children. But at the same time, I think we should be, we, I'm not a parent, but at the same time, I think you should be very cautious and I think as for my parents, I think they did a really good job at balancing it out where I was basically required to go to church because I wasn't going to stay home alone. But at the same time, they allowed me to develop my own relationship with God. They allowed me to make that decision where I wanted to believe in God. And to this day, I do believe in God and I will believe in God all of my life. Not because anyone has forced me to, not because of what a book says. A lot of people like to use that argument. Not because what other people say, but because I have seen who God is. I have felt Holy Spirit and I know who Jesus is in my life. So there's that. I hope this made sense. I hope you weren't offended by it and that you were able to understand a little bit about how I stood on this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it made sense to you guys and it didn't offend anybody. I just wanted to share my story, what I experienced and what I thought about this image and how much it had really spoken to me, I guess. Um, if you did like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet subscribed, make sure to do that down below. And I'll be seeing you guys really soon. Bye!